Hi there students, how are you doing? Over the last few weeks, you have learned things about the nature of communication. You were also taught about the elements. In some other modules, you learned about the barriers or the breakdowns in communication. In the last module or the lesson package, you learned about the models of communication. For the next module, you will be learning things about the different functions of communication. Welcome to Oral Communication in Context. This is Lesson 1 of Unit 2, The Functions of Communication. People do not just communicate because people love to talk. Humans communicate for several reasons. Regulation and control, social interaction, motivation, information, and emotional expression. Collectively, these reasons are called the functions of communication. Each function is based on the speaker's purpose for communicating. You may be wondering what the functions of communication are. Let's try to find out from this lecture. Let's start with the first one. Regulation or control as a function of communication. If the speaker's purpose is to control others by managing their behavior, then the speaker is using the function of regulation or control. Let's take a look at this example to better understand what regulation or control as a function of communication. Uh, magandang hapon mga kababayan ko dito sa May San Agustin. Uh, gusto ko lang malaman ninyo na tayo po ay naka-quarantine po ng uh, isang buwan. Masakit man pong isipin pero kailangan po natin sundin ang uh, pinag-uutos po ng uh, uh, IATF at saka ng uh, City Health Office. At dahil po dyan, mga mahal kong kababayan, tayo po ay hindi pwedeng lumabas ng bahay. Tama nga yung sabi ni Kim Chu, wag lumabas. Ano po, kung kailangan po nating lumabas, kailangan pong uh, mag-secure po tayo ng permiso sa local government, sa ating barangay, at uh, sisiguraduhin din na po namin na maibibigay ang lahat ng inyong mga pangangailangan sa uh, loob ng isang buwan. So, kailangan lamang po tayong uh, sumunod sa batas at sundin ang uh, pinag-uutos ng uh, ating gobyerno para po tayo ay mailigtas at uh, malunasan ang ating uh, mga, mga problema sa ating kalusugan. Moreover, Regulation or control as a function of communication means being able to use language, gestures, and emotion to manage individual or group activities just like this example. So, anak, sino ba daw itong sinasabi ni Frank na crush mo sa school? Ma, anong pinagsasabi ninyo? May crush ka, di ba? Ha? Huh? Ay, naku, huwag ka nang magmaang-maangan pa. Crush mo si Kathleen yun, di ba? Yung nakikita natin na ano mo, kasakasama mo nung last time. Si Kathleen? Hindi. Hindi. Uy, ikaw ang tatagawa ko. Ang mga kayong storbo. Tsaka, ba't kanyan ang suod nyo, ma? Oo, di ba? Crush mo siya, di ba? Kaso siya. Ah, Ayaw ko, tigil mo nga. Hindi ko siya crush. Hindi na. The second one is the social interaction as a function of communication. Social interaction is the most familiar and the primary reason why people communicate. This is because People do love to talk and love to talk with each other. Conversation with one another gives the people involved pleasure while passing the time in an entertaining way. Humans talk for the sole purpose of coming together as a society. Social interaction allows people to be connected with one another. A family becomes close not because they live under the same roof, but because each member interacts with one another. Friends interact to enjoy each other's company. A new acquaintance can become a friend, 
by getting to know that the person threw more opportunities for interaction. In addition, social interaction function of communication is the most obvious, the most often used, and the most popular. It is about the interaction with people by talking, conversing, laughing, and just enjoying each other's company. So those are the two first functions of communication, the regulation or control, and the social interaction. And let's proceed to the third and the fourth functions of communication as a motivation and information. Motivation is used to express preferences, desires, needs, wants, decisions, goals, and strengths. It is also the function a speaker uses when the purpose is to persuade or to try to persuade another person to change an opinion, attitude, or behavior. Also, motivation is the third function of communication and is the most purposive. When people communicate, they always have a purpose or a reason. Why do people talk about this and not that? Why talk to him but not to her? It is because there is a goal to be achieved, a motive that must be accomplished. Let's take a look at this example. Uh, hello, Mr. Cortez. Good afternoon. Yes, Mr. Cortez, what can I do for you? Uh, Ma'am, yeah? mag-aas lang po sana ako about sa project po namin. Ah! Opo. Ay, what's wrong, Iho? Kasi po, yung mga kagrupo ko, oh. medyo busy po ang lahat eh. Tapos, ako din po, medyo alanganin kasi dami yung project po po nga. Kasi that's, uh, ano na, yung, yung deadline nyo is malapit na. Opo. Paano yun, Mr. Cortez? Uh, ano po kasi ah. ako eh, uh, nasa sports din po ako, malapit na rin po yung aming competition at okay. practice Pero promise ko po ma'am na tatapusin po namin yung project. Naku anak, ang uh, gawin mo na lang, kailangan mo talagang mag-sacrifice a little bit. Sana po bigyan nyo kami ng extension. Oo, oh, oh, para matapos yung class project ninyo. Ngayon, I will give you time to uh, do your project. At uh, you have to make sure na matatapos mo talaga ito, ha? Promise po. Kasi importante itong project natin na ito, yes, eh. Okay. Uh, this, everything lies in your project. Yes, Oo, kasi malaking bagay ito. Yes, yun nga po, kulang po kami sa motivation. Kaya, kailangan, kailangan po namin talaga na matapos ito. Na sana bigyan nyo kami ng additional time po para matapos yung okay, project. Okay, sige. Sige, Iho. Uh, I'll be extending your, um, I mean, the uh, passing of your, you know, or the submission of your project. But you have to make sure that it, it would be of quality. Okay. Kikaya mo yan. Ikaw pa magaling ka eh. You are one of the best in class. Sige po. Uh, we will do it po na lang during, ano na lang po. Oh, basta oh. may extend lang po. Okay. Sige, Mr. Cortez. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much po. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Information Information is used for giving and getting information. It provides the information that individuals and groups need to make decisions by transmitting the data to identify and evaluate alternative choices. Function occurs when the speaker's purpose is to disseminate data, concepts, and processes which may be useful to the listeners. Let's take a look at this example. Magandang hapon. Ito po si Ka Kelbong para sa Weather Report. Makakaranas po ang buong Pilipinas ng pabugso-bugso ulan, bunsod ng bagyong sereming. Makikita po natin dito ang Luzon. Ang Luzong parteng ito ay magkakaroon po ng uh, malakas na pag-ulan at paghangin. Ugalain pong magdala ng payong paglabas ng bahay. Ganon din po ang mangyayari dito sa parte ng Visayas at Mindanao na mananatiling maulap at magkakaroon po ng uh, pansamantalang mga pag-ulap at uh, pag-ulan. Yan po ang para sa weather report sa hapon na ito. Ako po si Ka Kelbong. Maraming salamat. I believe you have already understood the second, the third, and the fourth functions of communication. This time, let's proceed to the fifth and the last function of communication. And that is emotional expression. Emotional expression provides a release for the emotional expression of feelings and for fulfillment of social needs. 
Emotional expression is also the function that promotes the speaker's purpose of moving others to action by appealing to the listener's feelings. Additionally, it is used by a speaker for the purpose of moving another person to act, to move in the particular direction the speaker wants that person to move. Filipinos can be moved to tears by a movie, a TV drama, or a song. A speaker may appeal to Filipino listeners by disclosing how he or she was also moved by that particular movie, TV drama, or song. And that's it for the five functions of communication. I hope you enjoyed and you learned a lot of things. I'll see you again in the next lecture. Bye-bye!